Hey guys, what's going on? This is my HT Tool and others, and today I want to show you some computer components that uh, kind of measure up to or are almost identical to the PS4 and the Xbox One. You know, something that you can kind of build um, a computer with and have almost the same type of specifications or uh, pretty much a early PS4, <laughs> basically. Um, so I'm gonna do it like this with a camera. I'm not gonna actually use a screen uh, recorder because I think this is a little more personalized and screen recorder is just, I don't know, it just seems kind of unprofessional. But anyways, so here's my laptop. I'm just gonna zoom in the camera here. There we go. And I will show you, uh, let's, let's turn on some ch chill dubstep in the background. So I'll show you some uh, components that are similar to the PS4. Now, my final price from these uh, components, even though these are budget components, are is about $719. Uh, the PS4 is speculated to be about $400, $450, maybe even $500, but I don't think it's ever going to be $719. But here are the PS4 specs. So, main processor is going to be an x86 processor which is like the architecture that the pc uses uh, and it's going to be an amd jaguar 8 core processor so that's where we're that's what we're going to use let me zoom this in because you guys can't really see this can you there we go so it's supposed to be an 8 core processor the gpu is going to have 1.84 ter teraflops it's going to be an AMD GPU. We're going to go down. Memory is GD, GDDR5 gig gigabytes. Of course, we don't have a, a, a uh, GDDR5 as RAM yet. Sorry, my English is all weird today. Uh, we only have DDR3 as RAM so far, but I think uh, we will be able to upgrade in the future. Uh, hard disk drive built in. Optical drive, they got a Blu-ray and a DVD player. Um, and they got super speed USB, so USB 3.0. Aux, we don't, I mean, I don't think we need an aux, so we're just gonna exclude that. Uh, Ethernet, most computer motherboards already include an Ethernet. And wireless, um, B, G, and N. And a Bluetooth 2.1. And that's basically it. And then HDMI and all these, you know, most video cards these days already have HDMI and stuff like that. <clears throat> so that's not a problem. So let's go to New Egg, and this is where I have all my components. So let's also zoom in so you guys can see better. And let's start off from the top, and that's going to be our case. So I chose a really, you know, nice, cheap case for this. Um, this build but it's got really good reviews it's a mid tower case and it looks pretty nice and it's very cheap and it will it will hold everything together and keep everything cool so this is a good case of course it's not gonna be as small as you know the Xbox one or PS4 but it is a computer so very nice there you go only $60 and of course shipping on top of that probably but I think these yeah all these have a free shipping anyways the second one is uh, gonna be a hard drive so the Xbox one has 500 gigabytes of hard drive space we don't know yet what the PS4 has but we do know what the Xbox one has and it's I believe it's 500 gigabytes I believe they revealed it. I'm not sure but I think I think they re revealed it uh, we got HGST hard drive. It's got very good reviews. I checked them out. And 72 RPM. So that's a lot faster than uh, the previous PS3, which only had 5400 RPM. Or 5200 RPM, I'm not sure. But it was a lot lower than 7200, 7200 RPM. Uh, 16 megabytes of cache, which is very good. And uh, 3 gigabytes a second SATA. So this is a you know your regular old hard drive. It'll last you pretty good time. Only fifty four ninety nine. Now we're gonna go to the motherboard, and this is all the boring stuff. We're gonna get to the fun stuff after, like the CPU and GPU. 
So we got the Asus M5 A97. Uh, this is a nice budget-friendly um, GP. I mean uh, motherboard, which is gonna house our CPU, which I will show in the later um, later part of the video. And this supports pretty much every uh, new AMD CPU out there now. FX series, the Phenom series, all that. It's nice. The ma ma maximum memory supported is 32 gigabytes, so it's very nice. It's gonna just be a very good hard drive. I mean, a very good motherboard, and it's uh, very not very expensive. It's only 79.99. And then of course you're gonna need a power supply. So I got this nice reliable Corsair. I think Corsair is a really good. Uh, reliable power supply manufacturer I have Corsair power supply and it's lasted me for like three years so it's very good 600 watts you're not going to need more uh, for the components that we have 600 watts is going to be enough for you it's only seventy dollars very good um, now we go to the RAM and the PS4 we know and also we know the Xbox One both have eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, the the Xbox One has DDR3, and this is also DDR3. So uh, I actually got a very nice DDR3 speed, which is 1866. That's a very fast uh, DDR3 speed. It's just going to be a very fast, low latency, just uh, good RAM. You know, you can get a lower score like 1066 or. 12 something megahertz but I think 1866 is a really good um, is a really good speed for RAM it's only 80 bucks I mean not only I mean that's kind of expensive but uh, to compete with the PS4 you know kind of get to their level I think they're they're gonna be you know using very good RAM like for example GDR GDDR5 is really fast RAM so we're gonna want to get as close to that speed as possible so that's why we're using a, such a fast speed in our in our uh, RAM so over here we got a two um, we got a Bluetooth adapter it just hooks up to one of your USBs and you know the PS4 does have Bluetooth um, so we got to match it I mean you're probably not gonna use Bluetooth for anything uh, but if the PS4 has it, we're gonna need to put it in our uh, computer. So it's very cheap, $14.99. You know, supports Bluetooth version 2.1, just as this does, and it's got EDR, just as the PS4 does. So there you go. Now we can go down here, and this is the CPU. Um, this is a octa-core or you know eight-core. <clears throat> and this is clocked a lot faster than the PS4. The PS4 is only clocked at 2.0 gigahertz, and the Xbox One is only clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. This is clocked at 3.5 gigahertz, so it's going to be very, very fast as a CPU. A lot faster than the PS4 and Xbox One. It's the A-core, very nice, very fast processor. And of course, you can overclock it in the future. And it's pretty cheap for a CPU this uh, uh, this caliber, and it's only one hundred sixty dollars. Got it's got eight megabytes of L3 cache, which is very fast. Not very very fast, but it's a good amount. And there's your CPU, you know, eight core, just as uh, the PS4 has. It also has an eight core, and so does the Xbox One. Now let's go down a little bit. Right here we have the LG. 12x Blu-ray. Uh, this is a Blu-ray drive. Of course, we got to include that because the PS4 and the Xbox 360 or uh, Xbox One also have Blu-ray drives. Of course, as a PC user, you're not going to need that because even now, PC games only install through uh, DVD drive. But you know, if the PS4 and Xbox One have it, we got to have it in our PC. So only fifty dollars. A long time ago it was actually very expensive, but now it's only $50. You can get one. Now to the fun part, here's the GPU. Um, I chose the power cover. 
AX779 and this is the AMD 779 or 7790 uh, graphics card and it's very similar uh, to the PS4's graphics card um, because it has it has uh, I think 7.90 7.79 um, teraflops and it's very very close to the 1.84 teraflops in this GPU so it's 140 bucks not too bad I've checked out uh, some benchmarks and the benchmarks are very good it gets like for uh, Bioshock Infinity it gets um, about 60 frames per second at maximum settings at 1920 by 1080 so you're probably gonna get a very good speed out of this GPU and plus it already comes with Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and Bioshock and Tomb Raider so there you go and that's basically it guys uh, thank you for watching oh also I forgot to mention where is it I actually forgot to oh there we go so and of course the PS4 and PS3 need a network adapter and I found this nice you know good reviewed uh, USB network adapter only eleven dollars only ten ninety nine supports three hundred megabytes per second uh, it's a USB wireless adapter 802.11 NGB same as the PS4 there you go 802.11 BGN and GB kinda reversed <laughs> and uh, yeah it works perfectly um, that's basically it so if you wanna have a uh, kind of a PS4 very early uh, as a PC well this is your answer but it's gonna cost you a lot more than the PS4 or Xbox One is gonna cost you Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.